Hi, it's Katrina. From the strongest substance in the universe to never before seen compounds, here are 10 unique materials found in space. Number 10. Metallic Hydrogen Hydrogen is an element that's present throughout the universe, and we see it every day here on Earth, usually in combination with oxygen to form water. On its own, it behaves like any other element. It's a gas at temperatures above minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, a liquid above minus 434 degrees Fahrenheit, and a solid when it's colder than that. In different environments, though, it acts differently, particularly when it's a gas. The increased temperatures and pressures found on Jupiter, for example, lead to some very unusual behavior not seen anywhere else on our planet. Beneath the layers of hydrogen gas are streams of a supercritical gas-liquid hybrid, where it is too hot to be a liquid, but under too much pressure to freely expand as a gas, so it gets caught between the two. Even further down, about 8,000 miles beneath the clouds, the pressure is as much as a million times that of the surface of the Earth. Here, the pressure forces hydrogen to revert to a liquid state. Usually at high temperatures and low pressures, this would be referred to as plasma. But in Jupiter's unique environment, this form of hydrogen acts like a metal. It's a very weird material, and one that relies on a quantum mechanical process called degeneracy pressure to exist. Originally thought to only be possible in the most extreme of environments, such as white dwarfs and neutron stars, the discovery of liquid metallic hydrogen in our own solar system was a massive breakthrough. Number 9. Pure Aluminum A lot of what we know about materials in space comes from analyzing the remnants of meteorites that have fallen to Earth. A particularly unusual rock was found in Egypt in 1996, which contained an unusual form of a metal that we're very familiar with. Aluminum. The Hypatia stone, as it has become known, is unlike most meteorites that have been found. It contains high levels of carbon compounds that had formed into microcrystals. But the most surprising thing was the existence of pure aluminum. On Earth, it's common to find deposits of pure metals, such as gold, but incredibly rare to find aluminum this way. Usually, it's as part of a chemical compound with other elements. So to find a pure formation is truly unique, one that wasn't thought to be possible anywhere in our solar system. Further mysteries about the Hypatia stone remain, and it's believed that it formed in an extremely cold environment, far further out than the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and it could even predate the formation of the Sun itself. Number 8. The Horsehead Nebula The Horsehead Nebula, which lies approximately 1,500 light-years away from Earth, is one of the most recognizable interstellar phenomena because of its unique shape. But there is far more to this mass of dust and gas than initially seems, and scientists have been studying its composition in further detail. A breakthrough was made in 2011 with the Institute of Millimeter Astronomy's telescope in the Spanish Sierra Nevada. They were taking spectra readings of the way that light had been broken down into its constituent wavelengths, which allows researchers to infer the chemical composition of faraway structures. Every molecule causes a distinct wiggle in the data, and for the most part, the results showed the characteristic signs of familiar chemicals such as carbon monoxide and formaldehyde. There were some unidentified lines, though, which suggested the presence of a molecule previously unknown to science. The data allowed scientists to deduce precisely what it was. They knew it was a linear molecule where the compound's atoms were arranged in a chain, and they concluded that it was propionyl didymium. This molecule ion had never been seen before, and if it were to form on Earth, it would be highly unstable and almost immediately react with something else. The low pressure in space and the sparseness of other molecules seems to therefore create the ideal environment for it to survive. Number 7. Hapkiite not all meteorites that land on Earth have come from the furthest stretches of the solar system. This next guy actually originated from our nearest galactic neighbor, the Moon. Discovered in the early 2000s in Oman on the Saudi Peninsula, analysis of the piece of Moon rock exposed a completely new material that's made from iron and silicon. Its existence had been predicted by a University of Pittsburgh researcher more than 30 years ago, and it was named after him, hence the name Hapkiite. It's thought that without a protective atmosphere, the collision of objects into the Moon melts the rocks and forms a vapor that is then deposited on nearby rocks. Hapkiite's chemical formula is Fe2Si, which means that it contains two atoms of iron to one of silicon, something that does not form naturally on Earth. Number 6. Crotite 
Around 2003, a very strange meteorite was found in North Africa, one which is often referred to as the cracked egg meteorite because of its unusual appearance. More recently, scientists who were examining the meteorite found a material about the size of a grain of rice that they didn't recognize. They sent it for testing and found that it was made from a type of calcium aluminum oxide that can only form when there's extremely low pressure and temperatures higher than 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. These, they realized, were the conditions present during the formation of our solar system. So this find sheds light on what materials were being formed at that time. It was named Crotite after a prominent cosmochemist, and while it has been artificially created before as a synthetic material sometimes used in concrete, this was the first time any evidence had been found that it can be formed naturally. Number 5. Quasi-Crystals Quasi-crystals are an unusual type of material where the atoms inside arrange themselves in regular patterns, but ones that never repeat themselves. Neighboring cells have slight variations but follow clear mathematical rules in a similar way to the Fibonacci sequence. More than 100 different types of quasi-crystals are known and they are used in products such as non-stick cookware, lead lighting, and surgical instruments. So far, every quasi-crystal that's been studied has been artificially created in a laboratory, except for one. It was found in 2007 when a researcher was looking through museum rock collections. It had come from a meteorite that had landed on the Koryak Mountains in Russia. The question that struck scientists was how was it possible for a quasi-crystal to form naturally, and why are they so rare? The meteorite fragment also contained unusual textures in the form of iron metallic beads, and this was the first clue to the answer. These occur in materials during shock compression experiments, and further testing has shown that quasi-crystals can be formed in such conditions. The meteorite had been exposed to a huge collision, possibly in the formation of the solar system, and it's now believed that quasi-crystals could be far more common and naturally created than anyone had previously thought. This new understanding has also made it easier to create them under lab conditions, and their use in manufacturing is set to increase. Number 4. Panguite the Allende meteorite was the largest carbonaceous chondrite to have ever been found on Earth. These primitive meteorites account for just under 5% of the ones that fall and have their roots in the early solar system. This one fell over the Mexican state of Chihuahua on February 8, 1969, and exploded in the atmosphere, scattering debris across the region. In total, more than two tons of material has been retrieved from the event, and other than the usual compounds scientists expected to find, they also found things that were more surprising. In 2012, it was announced that a previously unknown compound had been discovered within the remains of the Allende meteorite, which has been named Panguite. It's named after Pangu, the giant in Chinese mythology who created the Earth, and contains an unusual blend of titanium, zirconium, scandium, aluminum, magnesium, calcium, and oxygen. It's something that can only be formed under the types of high temperatures and varied pressures that existed in our solar system's development, and means that Panguite is one of the oldest minerals in the solar system. Number 3. Uakitite In 2018, researchers at the annual meeting of the Meteoritical Society in Moscow announced a particularly exciting find for them, as they had discovered a completely new mineral after examining a space rock. Known as Uakitite, it was found in the Uakit meteorite. This meteorite was found in the region of Russia after which it was named. The majority of this meteorite was made up of a substance called camasite, which is an alloy of iron with small amounts of nickel, and has only ever been found in rocks that have fallen to Earth from space. After examining the rock under a microscope, though, small specks were visible, and further testing showed these to be made up of uakitite. It's made up of vanadium nitride and is thought to be extremely hard. While it isn't harder than diamond, as some people say, it is from outer space. Its actual hardness is impossible to prove, however, because the only samples that have been retrieved are 5 micrometers in size, which is many, many times smaller than a grain of sand. Knowing that camasite can only be formed in temperatures of more than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, it's clear that uakitite requires similarly extreme conditions to form as well. Number 2. Wassonite Yamato 691 was a meteorite found in Antarctica 50 years ago, but it was only recently that scientists realized that there was something strange about its structure. Upon closer inspection, they found microscopic crystals inside it that were unfamiliar. The problem was that they only measured between 50 and 450 nanometers across, which made them incredibly difficult to analyze. Researchers had to wait until technology improved before they could determine what these crystals were. 
This finally happened with the use of a focused ion beam, which allowed a team to extract the crystals from the rock. They found that their chemical structure consisted of only two elements, titanium and sulfur, in equal quantities. It was a surprise that such a simple formula was found in a previously unknown mineral, but the complexity came from the shape of the crystals. Rather than being a cube, it's an elongated rhombohedral structure, which is best described as an apartment building that's tilted over. Following the discovery of the mineral, it was decided to name it Wassonite after Jason Wasson, who was a leader in his field of meteorite mineralogy at UCLA. Number 1. The Strongest Substance in the Universe Ever since humans have manipulated materials for their own means, we've always looked for the next strongest substance to work with. At first, this was rock then iron, then steel, and now composites and graphene. But researchers now think they've discovered what is the strongest substance in the entire universe, something they call nuclear pasta. Before you think we'll be able to start mining this substance though, there's a problem. It's only found in the crust of neutron stars, one of the densest structures in the universe. As an example, while these stars may only be about 12 miles in diameter, they contain the same mass as one and a half of our suns. A single teaspoon of a neutron star would weigh a billion tons, and it's this substance that's believed to be extremely strong. The reason for this is the extreme environment in which it exists, which sees its protons and neutrons being packed very tightly together. It would take on unusual shapes, which is why it's referred to as pasta, because of the different forms it is available in. While bringing any back to Earth would likely cause a massive nuclear explosion, there's a lot that can be learned from this substance. For example, simulations have shown that it can pile up on the surface of a neutron star, forming mountains. As the star rotates, these mountains are thought to create ripples in space-time, known as gravitational waves waves, a phenomenon that, until now, has only ever been detected in the aftermath of a collision between two black holes. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe and come on over and say hi on Instagram! Let me know what you would like to see next! See you next time! Bye!